Hello there, this is Welsh ASMR82. Hey, how you doing? Merhaba, nasılsın? Um, today I'm going to be looking at the Turkish Super League for the season 2022-2023 and making some predictions about who I feel is going to win the league and who's going to qualify for the European Cups for next season. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the overall season. So this is season 2022-23 and in this ASMR video we're looking at predictions of course. So the dates are, it's already started, started on the 5th of August 2022 and we'll carry on to the 28th of May 23. 45 matches to play. Um, there have already been plenty of goals, plenty of matches, five matches in with Enna Valencia already scoring six goals. Let's look at the teams. So a total of 19 teams contest the league, including 16 sides from the 2021-2022 season and the 21-22 TFF First League champions Ankara Gucci, runner-ups Imran Yespor and playoff winners Istanbul Spor. Ankara Gucci immediately returned to top level. Imran Yespor is competing in the Super League for the first time in its history. Istanbul Spor returned to the top level after 17 years. The bottom four teams will be relegated to the First League at the end of the season. Now Turkey is a massive country, but look how many clubs are just in Istanbul, in the Istanbul province. So overall we've got Ankara Gucci here going left to right before we go back to Istanbul, Konyaspor, Antalyaspor, Alanyaspor, Ataispor, Atanatemispor, Kaysenspor, Giresunspor, Trabzonspor, one of the best clubs historically in the league, Sivaspor, and Kaziante. And then in Istanbul, we've got Istanbul, Başak Şehir, then Istanbul Spor, Kasim Pasa, or Kasim Pasha, Galatasaray, Besiktas, Fatih Kara, Gümrük. And then on the Asian side of the city, Fenerbahce and Ümra. So two of the three sides that were promoted are actually from Istanbul. In terms of the stadia and locations, Adana Demispor in Adana will play at the new Adana Stadium. Wow, it's nice, isn't it? With a capacity of 33,500. Alanya Spor in Antalya. Oh my goodness, how pretty is that? The fifth most popular city. He's going to be in the Kurbuyuk Holding Stadium. It's relatively small for this league with 10,000. Ankara Gucci in Ankara will play in the Eriaman Stadium, 20,000. Antalya Spor in Antalya will play in the Antalya Stadium, 32,000. It's another lovely stadium. Besiktas, one of my favourite stadiums in Europe, in Istanbul, playing the Vodafone Park Stadium. I need to show you this stadium, it's gorgeous. Really lovely. And that is 42,500. Fatih Karagümrük in Istanbul will play at the Atatürk Olympic Stadium. 76,000. I don't think it's going to fill that, but you never know. The Turkish love their football. Fenerbahce will play in the Şükrü Saracolu Stadium. 47,834. Galatasaray in the Nef Stadium. Another lovely stadium for 52,000. Gaziantep in the Gaziantep Stadium for 33,000. Giresunspor 
in the Chotanaka Sports Complex. Oh my god, that's lovely. 22,000. Hatai Sport in the new Hatai Stadium. 25,000. Istanbul, Pashakshir. Pashakshir Fatih Terim Stadium. 17,000. Istanbul Sport will play in the SN Yurt Nejmi Kadiolu Stadium. It's the smallest. Oh no, it's not the smallest. 7,500. Kasum Pasha will play in the Recep Tayyip Erdogan Stadium. 14,000. Kayseri Spor will play in the Kadir Has Stadium. I quite like that one, it's nice. 32,864. So many amazing stadium. Uh, stadia in Turkey. Konya Sport will play in the Konya Metropolitan Municipality Stadium 42,000. Look at the inside. Ah, oh, there's no picture of the inside. Sivas Sport will play in the new Sivas Elul Stadium 27,500. Trabzon Sport will play in the Şenol Güneş Sports Complex. Lovely big stadium, 40,782. And Umraniye Spor will play in the Umraniye Belediye Seşehir Stadium, 3,500. Tiny, tiny, tiny. They must be so excited about playing in the top league for the first time. Okay, so Vicenzo Montella is the head coach of Adana Demir Spor with Gukan Lindler. Captain Francesco Farioli is the coach of Alan, um, Alanya Spor with Evejan Garaja, the captain. Angara Guju has Umer Edouan as head coach and Abdullah Durak as captain. Antalya Spor. Yuri Shahim, oh well, is head coach. Hakan Uzmert is captain. Besiktas has Valerian Ismail, he's a really good coach with Captain Atiba Hutchinson of Canada. Fatih Karamguruk has Andrea Pilo as manager, wow, with Emiliano Viviano as the captain. Fenerbahce has Georgi Jesus as their coach and captain is Altai Bayundur. Galatasaray has Okun Buruk as coach and Fernando Muslera. He must have been there for over 10 years now. Is it the captain? Gaziantep, Erol Bulut, coach. Gunai Guvenc is captain. Giresunspor, Hakan Kelesh is coach. Onur Janbiri is captain. Ataispor, Serkan Uzbalta is coach. Kamil Cerecek, Cerekci, Cerekci, Cerekci is captain. Istanbul, Bashak Shehir. Emre Belizolo. Oh, I remember him. His coach, Mahmoud Tekdemir, is captain. Istanbul Spor, Osman Zeki Korkmaz, is the coach. Ibrahim Yilmaz, is the captain. Kasim Pasha, Shenol Can, is the coach. Haris Ayradinovic, is the captain. Kasseri Spor, Chadash Atan, coach, Ilhan Parlak, captain, Konya Spor, Ilhan Palut, coach, Ibrahim Shehic, captain, Siva Spor, Reza Chaldunbay, coach, Zia Erdal, captain, Trabzon Spor, Abdullah Avcı, coach, Ur Can Chakur, captain, Umraniye Spor, Recep Uçar, coach, Tomislav Gulmats, captain. Ah, Pirlo came in this year as the manager, I see. And Besiktas has started really well. They've got four wins and one draw from possible five, hoping to get into that Champions League qualifying spot. Konya Sport and Fenerbahce currently in the UEFA Conference League second qualifying round spots. I 
assume the cup winner will get into the Europa League. And then with four out of 19 going down, it's, it's risky business at the bottom there. Number of teams by region, eight in Marmara, uh, because that includes Istanbul, Central Anatolia, four, Mediterranean, four, two in the Black Sea, and one in Southeastern Anatolia. As I said, so far, in Valencia with six goals for Pene Fenerbahce, 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 Gumi, for Galatasaray, love him, ex-Swansea player. That's where I'm from, obviously. Swansea in Wales. Oh, Fabio Barini is there as well. Another ex-Swansea player. George Kevin. And Wout Weghorst with four assists. He scored against Wales for Netherlands recently. Who else to kick and in there? Lazar Markovic is very fast, isn't he? Lucas Lima is very good. And then Konya Spor with five clean sheets. That means they've not conceded a single goal. So far, Konyaspor. Oh yeah, they are second. No goals conceded. Oh, I stumbled by Shakshi is too. Wow. And hat tricks. Joao Figueiredo. Got one for Gaziantep against Antalya Spor. Okay, so to predict, I think probably Besiktas or Fenerbahce will win the league. Um, that would be really interesting to see them fight each other. Who's the current champion again? Let's find out. So the current champion is Trabzonspor for their seventh title. So. I mean, they have a good squad. I think they'll probably be towards the top. I'd like to see a good season from Galatasaray again. Um, but also, I quite like other teams having a chance. I'd love to see maybe Konyaspor clinch a title. That would be nice. What do you think? Drop a comment. Drop a like. And uh, tell me if you want me to do more videos on the Turkish Superliga in the future. But for now... Thank you so much.